Okay, this um, presentation on the time value of money concept is, is on the concept of annuities. All right, so an annuity requires uh, periodic payments or receipts of the same amount, um, the same length interval in between such payments, and interest is compounded just once each interval. There are two types of annuities. An ordinary annuity, uh, the payment occurs at the end of each period. The annuity due, the payment begins, uh, occurs at the beginning of each period. For example, with this timeline, this is a ordinary annuity. So you can see at the end of the first period um, is when the first payment is made, the end of the second period, and so forth. An annuity due, the payment is made at the beginning of the period, and so the second payment is at the beginning of the second period, and so forth. Um, the future value of an annuity, so that's what we want to focus on here, is the future value. Uh, the, the future value of annuity is the sum of all of the payments uh, in relationship to when the payment is received. So here is a timeline of a, of a three year or three uh, payment annuity. We're going to make a payment at the end of year one, end of year two, end of year three. The concept behind this in arriving at the future value is that the first payment, payment one, is going to grow over three years, the second payment is going to grow over two years, and the third payment isn't going to grow at all because it's made at the end of the third, um, at the end of the third uh, period. Alright, the formula for this is a little bit confusing, but really the future value of an annuity is the, pre is the future value of the first payment plus the future value of the second payment plus the future value of the third payment. Um, that can be summarized by saying the future value is the sum of the payments 1 plus the interest rate raised to n minus um, uh, the interest rate um, uh, n minus i. There's four pieces of information. Well, uh, there's four pieces of information that are variables when it comes to annuities. Usually we have three of these and we solve for the fourth. So if we want to know the future value of the annuity, if we know the payment, the interest rate, and the number of periods, we can calculate the future value. We're going to see an example of that in a second. Okay, the, our formula can be simplified. Future value of an ordinary annuity in 1 plus i, the interest rate, raised to the nth power minus 1 divided by i. And then this we would multiply, this formula we will multiply by the rent or the payment um, when, when we solve this math equation. Okay, so again we want to talk about the tables solving it mathematically and then using our financial calculator. So this table is commonly referred to the future value of an ordinary annuity. Oftentimes it is table 3 and um, if it doesn't, isn't called a future value of an ordinary annuity it can be found by looking at this formula here or the formula we saw earlier here. Okay. So let's take a look at this example. Um, what is the future value of five $5,000 deposits made at the end of each period for five years, earning an interest of 12%? So we can see at the end of year one, we deposit 5,000, same with two, three, four, and five. The interest rate is 12%. What will that grow to in five years? So the table we use is the future value of an ordinary annuity. And it would look something like this. Um, the interest rate, remember, was 12%. It was for five years, so interest rate 12, 5%. The factor we're going to use is 6.35285. So we take the amount of the payment, 5,000, times 6.35285 to get a 
uh, really it's a future value of 31,768. Uh, uh, this is the future value, not the present value. We'll do the present value in a different presentation. The other way we can solve for that is by using doing the math on, on this. So again, we take our payment, we multiply that by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the fifth power divided by 1, or excuse me, minus 1 divided by 12. I do the math on that, I get 6.35285, I multiply that by the payment, and that gives me 31.764.25. Finally, let's look at this do, using a financial calculator. Our period is, our n is the period, uh, which would be 5 in this case. Interest rate is 12%. Uh, we're not looking for the future or the present value. We are solving for the future value, and our payment is going to be 5,000. Now, keep in mind that payment is minus 5,000, right? If you think about a payment, that is an outflow. So minus 5,000 is going to get us 31,007. You know, we solve for the future value, 31,764, uh, and that's our answer.